Well, all right, guys, look at what we got going on here. We're finally getting around to doing the AirPods Pro review. I've had quite some time now to get used to these things, learn all about them, and use them on a daily basis. So today, let's go ahead and talk about them and tell you what I think about them. All right, so first off, let's talk about the design of these things. So the case on the Pro models are much more narrower, but they're actually longer in width. So uh, definitely a different, you know, kind of look here. The normal AirPods uh, look more like a dental floss thing, but these have a different uh, little look going on. Uh, a little bit heftier to the case as well, but that's probably due to the fact that this is the new uh, MagSafe enabled charging case. So Apple actually quietly uh, updated these not too long ago to include a MagSafe enabled wireless charging case. So you can charge these three different ways. MagSafe, your standard uh, wireless charger, and I'll actually show you right there. You can just set them on there. You can see how that went green. Uh, that means it is charging. So you can do it that way or you can still plug them in with the traditional lightning connector. Now this case is pretty good. It's the same glossy uh, plastic look that we have going on. Nice little indention here for you to easily uh, open them up. Nice clicking sound uh, when you close them and you have that nice metal hinge on the back of the case, little pairing button and then your lightning port of course. And the uh, battery indicator for your case as well as your AirPods is actually located here on the front so you can see that we have the orange and green indicator that would be right there to let you know your battery level. And the only thing about this case that I have noticed since using these is for some reason this case is a little bit more difficult to hold on to. I don't know if it's because of the shape or if it's because it feels a little bit more slippery than my uh, first gen AirPods that I had. But yeah, I've already let these hit the floor <laughs> at least three times that I can remember. So yeah, you gotta be very careful with these uh, when you're holding on to them. Uh, but yeah, that's the only complaint that I have about this particular case. If we open them up, we can see in here that you have the AirPods themselves. So they look pretty large in this case, but once you get them out, they're not really that big. Nice indentions for them so the case can actually uh, open and close, of course. And then here is the AirPod Pro. So you can see that these look very different than the traditional AirPods uh, that we've known for the past few years. They're much more smaller, a much shorter stem on these. And of course, the biggest difference with these is they actually go into your ear, unlike a traditional one that just kind of sits in your ear. So Apple gives you uh, these nice ear tips here. Now, they actually give you extra ones in the packaging. So the ones that come pre-installed are the medium size. That's what these are. Uh, and I found that really these are the best ones uh, for me. The small ones are just too small and the large ones are just too large. So yeah, the medium size is gonna work for most people. Uh, so yeah, that's what I recommend using. As far as the fit goes in your ear with these, I don't know if I'm just a unique person or what, but these have not been the best fit for me. Like I said, I've tried all the different uh, tip sizes and the medium ones are the best ones for me. But here's my main thing with these. So when they go into your ear, they actually go in just fine. You know, they take a little bit to obviously push them in uh, to your ear canal. And when they're in there, they look, you know, fine how, I guess all the advertisements look, how they're bent and that kind of deal. Uh, they, they, they fit good, you know, in that regard. The only problem is they end up wiggling out of my ear whenever you move your mouth a lot. So if you're talking or even if you're eating or something like that, these will eventually wiggle out of your ear and then they're just kind of sitting there and it defeats the whole purpose of a in-ear headphone because you can't do any noise cancellation or stuff like that. So I find that pretty weird that these wiggle out of my ear in certain situations. Um, you know, it, it's really weird. The right side fits way looser than the left side. Uh, the left side actually 
over time, it will actually end up hurting a little bit if you leave it in there too long. So, like I said, I don't know if I'm just a oddly shaped person or something, but that is kind of very sad for me because I really love the way these things work and sound and all that stuff. And just having them wiggle out over time and then, you know, kind of a weird fit is a little disappointing, but really, you know, I don't keep these in too long. And I've kind of learned just, you know, not get into those situations where they wiggle out. Uh, but yeah, so what I'm saying is these might fit perfectly for you. They might not fit. They might kind of half fit. Or if one of them works and one of them doesn't. And there's really no way to know if it's going to work or not. And I've seen a lot of people on Reddit who kind of have the same complaints about these. Some people, you know, say they fit good. Some people say they don't. And it's really disappointing because you want to love these things because they sound good, noise canceling, all that stuff works great. But yeah, that's just a little warning to you about the fit of these. Uh, but let me know in the comments down below if you have these things and you have fit problems with them. Enough about these things fitting your ear. How do they sound? So they sound really good, as expected, right? I mean, this is a $250 pair of headphones they best sound decent, right? Uh, they're not overbearing, they can get very, very loud, but it's a good mid-level, I would say, uh, on the loudness with these uh, that you have. One thing I definitely noticed, and you can go back and watch my first impressions video, is these have great bass, very heavy bass, really nice bass. It's a good clean bass. It's not like, you know, rattling your head, but, but it's a really nice, you know, bass going on there. And, you know, I'm not an audiophile. I don't know what the best sounding stuff is out there. I'm sure there's other in-ear headphones that sound better than these AirPods do. But at the end of the day, you know, these work so good with your phone and all that stuff. And they they're gonna sound good to pretty much everybody, unless you're just an audiophile and you're like, well, I noticed this and I noticed that. But to the average person, consumer, these are gonna sound really good. We can talk about the different modes and things that you have uh, with these. So let's go ahead and actually place them into my ear. So go ahead and put them in. And they're actually already connected, uh, actually just connected to my uh, MacBook, which is something that's very nice about these AirPods. These do have the automatic device switching. So for example, if we look at my phone, you'll notice up top, well, you should notice that they should switch over. Uh, maybe you have to actually, there we go. So once you go into like a, you know, playlist or something, it automatically switch for you. You can hit play and there they go. So. Yeah, they work very good. All right, we're listening to some random stuff here already. I really can't get over how good they sound. But anyways, uh, let's go in here. So if you go into your actual uh, you know, volume settings right here, just long press on them. This is where you can change some things quickly on the fly. So you notice down here we have noise control. So we're in noise cancellation mode right now. And as the music's playing, I can barely hear myself talking. I mean, that's how good the noise cancellation actually is. Now, you can turn that off just like that. And I don't really like that because it sounds like you're underwater. <laughs> I mean, it's really weird. My voice sounds extremely muffled. Uh, so with it off, it sounds like just you have earplugs in. Instead of turning it off, this is the best way to do it right here is the transparency mode. So the transparency mode is exactly how it sounds. It lets in the outside noises and there's a just a little bit of a hiss kind of sound. You know, that's just typical, like you're gonna expect that. But really after a while of having it in transparency mode, you forget you have headphones in. I mean, it's it's that good. Uh, and the noise canceling, man, it's unreal how much that actually <laughs> cancels the noise, which is what you want, obviously, right? Uh, 
Well, yeah, if you're in an area that's like very loud or maybe you're in a like a airport or on a train or something, a lot of loud noises going on, cancels the noise beautifully. Uh, but so I can hear myself talk and not go crazy, we're gonna leave it on transparency mode. The other one, of course, is the spatial audio. So spatial audio is, you know, surround sound, right? You turn it off and really, let me see, hold on. Yeah, it's more of, you know, surround sound kind of deal, right? With it off, it is noticeable, but it's not as noticeable, right? But the fixed mode definitely makes it sound better than no spatial audio at all. Uh, and then the other one, of course, is the head tracking. The head tracking is full 360 sound. So you turn your head and the music always seems like it's in front of you, if that makes any sense. So like if I look to the right, I hear everything in my left ear. If I look the other way, works the same way. You look down, you look up, you look behind you or whatever. It all sounds like it's still coming from in front of you, which is really cool. Um, as far as music listening goes, fixed is the way to go in my opinion. But the head tracking is definitely nice if you're watching a movie or something like that. Uh, so if you're listening to these with your Apple TV, I've actually not found a way to change them to fixed. I think it's always head tracked on your Apple TV, but you guys can correct me. Uh, if I'm wrong about that. But yeah, so there's some music. Let's see if we can find something. I don't know. This is a random cover on Spotify. But yeah, cranking them up. A little bit. A couple notches over half. That's just about unbearable for me. Yeah, but... They really sound so good, to me anyways. You can clearly hear every instrument, the vocals, I mean it's amazing really. And that good bass, very good bass on these, I'm, that's what I think about it, I'm sorry. Overall though, the sound of these, very nice, very very nice. Um, you know, to the audiophile out there, they're gonna sound better. I mean, they're not gonna sound, you know, they, they're gonna have something to say about it, is what I'm saying. They're like, well, there's other better ones, though. Well, this doesn't sound good. To me, and to the average person, they sound really, really good. Um, as far as uh, talking on the phone or something, they also work very well. Uh, you can hear people very clearly. And I've actually uh, called people, and I've asked them, you know, so tell me what device I'm talking to you off of. And they never guess AirPods. They always like, uh, is it your watch, uh, your phone, your computer? They never guess AirPods. And when I tell them it is AirPods, they're like, wow, that sounds just like your phone. So it's pretty cool. So if you're gonna use these for that, um, they work great. Uh, the other thing I'll talk about is the controls for your AirPods. So these are definitely different than your traditional ones. And we'll go on the camera so we can kind of show you how this works. How y'all doing? So you squeeze the stem, which is kind of weird, uh, instead of the double tapping that you did on the previous ones. It's weird, but it works way better than the double tapping. The double tapping and all that stuff was so annoying. It, I didn't like it one bit. So if you click the stem once, it pauses your music, or you can answer a phone call uh, by doing that. And you actually know when you press this. So when you press it, it's like an audible clicking noise uh, that you hear, which is nice, okay? If you press them twice, it skips the song. So uh, no more double tapping to skip your song, right? If you press three times, 
it actually goes back. So skip forward twice, skip backwards three times. And then if you press and hold it, it switches back and forth between noise canceling and transparency mode. So that's pretty nice. Easy access, you don't have to go into your menu and actually do that, right? I'll show you some of the settings here you can do uh, in your Bluetooth. So if you go into Bluetooth actually and you tap on the little I next to them, this is where you can see like all of your different settings here. So of course you have your name. Uh, this is where you can change your noise control. Again, no need to go into all these settings to do that when you can literally, you know, just go in up there or even hold the stem and do it for you. Right here, these are your different controls, right? So here is the press and hold feature. I'm just kidding, you can do Siri, my bad. But yeah, so if you don't want to do noise control, you can do Siri uh, and do all that stuff. So you can choose which side independently. This is pretty cool. This is an ear fit test. So it plays a little tune at a certain volume. Pretty kind of loud, uh, but it lets you know if you have a good uh, seal or not. So apparently my noise was too high because I was talking, so hold on. So there we go. Now it says it's a good seal. So that's where you can determine whether or not you have the correct tip size in. Uh, you can see down there we have automatic ear detection, connect to this iPhone automatically, your spatial audio settings. So this is where you can really kind of see how it sounds if you aren't familiar with spatial audio. Uh, so it's kind of a little testing you can do there. Automatic microphone, which basically means whenever you uh, take a phone call or need to use your microphone, it'll automatically use the one in the AirPods instead of the one in your phone. It's nice to see the AirPods have optimized battery charging now. So it's gonna learn your daily habits. So it's gonna learn your daily habits and be able to so it's gonna learn your daily habits and basically uh, limit your battery charging to prevent wear and tear over time. And then we have Find My Network, which allows you to find your AirPods through the Find My Network. Well, yeah, guys, that's the AirPods Pro for you. I really love these things. I think they sound good. I think they're worth the money, uh, especially since I got one on sale for 150 bucks on Black Friday. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're definitely, they're worth it. Like I said, there's probably better in-ear headphones out there, but for what you're getting here and the ability for them to work with your Apple devices so seamlessly, like everything always does, I think they're worth it. You know, so the only thing, like I said, concern is the ear fit. Sometimes they are good for people, sometimes they're not. Uh, if they don't end up working for you, I guess you could switch to the traditional AirPods 3rd gen. I'm sure those sound great as well, and they have a different design now. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's my review of the AirPods Pro. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. But anyways, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next one.